Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have the one year review of my Cartier Love bracelet This one I've been having it on my hands since the day that I bought it I have not taken it off so I'm very happy to finally be doing a review with a substantial amount of time of use for this bracelet So if you're thinking to buy it and you want to hear the pros and cons, let's get into the video If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lou and I am 25 years old and I make videos about handbags, shoes, traveling, but mainly handbags. We love handbags here. So if you like any of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, going into the specifics of my bracelet, mine is in yellow gold size 16. This is not the thin version. It's the normal thick version. It has no diamonds. And the reason why I got it with no diamonds is because I really wanted something very plain to stack, something to wear every day and not take it off. I went with yellow gold because I think that it's the one that complements my skin tone a little bit better and I went with the size 16 because I have really tiny arms. There's a thin version of this bracelet which you can check out on Isabel Styles YouTube and she made an amazing review of it so I highly recommend you guys to check her channel out for that info but if you ask me price wise like what is like a better investment I would say to go for the regular one because the regular one has double the gold than the thin one and the price of the thin one is not high of the price than the regular love bracelet. I'm gonna leave the price that it retails for right now here on the screen so you guys can check it out. The brand has price increases often, same as Chanel, Hermes and other brands. So it's something that you might want to take into consideration if you're planning to buy the bracelet because most likely the prices will go up in time. They offer it in yellow gold, rose gold and white gold and they also have the thin, the thick version and they have diamonds and then there's one that I really like. I don't know if I would consider it the love bracelet but it's the pavé. That thing is beautiful but it's definitely super expensive. I bought mine directly from the store I think exactly like a year ago more so I think so and I started wearing it right away and I have not taken this bracelet off since. Now let's talk about wear and tear and right off the bat I'm gonna tell you that this bracelet has a ton of scratches and there's no way to avoid it. If this is something that it's a deal breaker for you please don't get this one and maybe get the Justin Clue one. It's a little bit harder to scratch and I think that it's gonna be a better investment for you so yeah now what are my thoughts about all of these scratches I think that is something that you have to live with and know and understand that you made those scratches yourself and that it's completely fine I'm gonna be honest here at first when I got my first scratch I was devastated I would wear the bracelet inside my sweater so I would not scratch it when I was working on my desk or on my computer or doing something and honestly it's something that you can do for a little while but it's gonna get scratched anyway and the first scratch made me feel so bad I instantly started rejecting buying it because I was like oh my god what is gonna happen to this one it's just gonna get scratched and it's gonna look awful but honestly after some time it starts to blend in like all the scratches started to kind of accumulate and now it looks very even I don't mind if I scratch it anymore and you definitely get over it but it's like a process that you need to get used to so I highly recommend you to have this in mind when you buy the bracelet other than that I haven't had any type of issues with my bracelet nothing of it falling or opening without me wanting to. Nothing at all. Everything has been great. I don't have any complaints. The only wear and tear that I can tell you are these scratches. Now let's go with the pros and cons and I think um, I have more pros and cons to the bracelet. Let me just break them down and you can decide for yourself if it's worth it for you. One of the pros is that it's a very comfortable and subtle piece so you get used to wearing it so much that you stop realizing that you have it on. Of course it's a piece that you get to see every single day but it's not uncomfortable. I wear it every Everywhere. I wear it swimming, exercising, working every single day. I work on my computer and I write and I have it on this hand specifically for that reason so it wouldn't get in the way when I was writing down or anything like that. Washing dishes. I was even working on fixing a boat so I was with tools and all of that stuff so I definitely feel that I have put the bracelet through so much and that's why it has so many scratches but I've used it and I have not restrained myself to do things just because I have it. If you pay so much money for all those things they are meant to be used and you're fine it's gonna be fine I fall down I scratch my leg sometimes or my arm or I bite my nails like why am I so careful that I deny myself of using these things on my day-to-day -day life so I stopped doing that and now I use all my bags and I buy whatever materials I want this happened the same time that I started really buying more lambskin for Chanel instead of caviar and it's because I like lambskin more and I started buying lambskin and I'm, I'm 
super happy. It's way more durable than people think. So that's the same that apply to your jewelry. It's also a very subtle piece. I don't get many people really knowing what it is or tell me anything about it. I get way more compliments on this other one that I have. And this is vintage. This was from my grandma and it has gold and sapphires, but way more than on this one. And again, I bought this one for myself, for me to enjoy it, not really for other people to see. So that's one of the reasons why I think jewelry has a deeper meaning to yourself than to hey, this is Cartier. And I know that many people know what it is, but again, I bought this for myself. And I think that it's a very subtle piece and it's very easy to stack it with anything that you want. My current stack on this arm is my love bracelet. And then I got a diamond tennis bracelet that I love. I need to get this fixed because it's a little bit too long, but I definitely love it. It's perfect. And the stack together, I love it. I think that I would add anything else to it for now. Another pro is that it's a piece that you can wear 24 seven. You never really have to take it off. And for for me that's very important because that's how I stop wearing my jewelry pieces just because if I have to take them off every time that I shower and then I forget to put it back on or I'm just too lazy I stop wearing them so this was for me perfect because since the day that I bought it it's been on my arm and I don't have to worry about it ever as far as it goes for me it doesn't loosen up so it's very very there I haven't had any type of issues of it loosen it up a little bit and me having to adjust it it's just there like for good now let's talk about cons because there are definitely cons as one of the pros is that the bracelet is just there in your arm you don't have to take it off one of the cons is that it's very hard to take off and I have this story that I don't know it's very recent and it was not great but I was flying from Paris to Barcelona and I had to go through security and it it has never happened to me that that my bracelet pops at the security like there's usually no issues with it the thing is that this time something i had on started ringing at the end the problem was on my shoes i think and the security lady and mind you i understand french when people speak to me in french i know what they're saying to me and i can sometimes reply back i had like six years of french but it was so long ago so it's definitely super rusty but i can definitely understand but i could not understand anything that this lady was telling me so she pointed at my bracelet and i said I cannot take it off right now but I have this screw inside my luggage if you let me go grab it and this lady physically grabbed me and pushed me back from the arch and then push me back in like she physically just did this to me so she started to tell me something about my bracelet and I was just like hold on let me grab this crew and I'm gonna take it off and she would not like let me move and mind you my in-laws were with me my boyfriend's parents they speak French too so they tried to help and she just started yelling at them too so I definitely wish that in that moment I could just take the bracelet off so this lady would first of all take her hands off me and second of all take it off so she could see that it was not the problem at the end the problem was on my shoes i think but i had to go through security with my finger like like this i don't know if it makes sense i was in no moment um like arguing with her i was just compliant and i would let her handle me however she wanted but i was definitely a little bit shaken up i was i had never been grabbed like that in my life before and honestly i just think that she probably had a very rough day and me not understanding her was very frustrating so i'm not mad at her or anything and when she realized that i was like shaken up she did i think she apologized i'm not sure um, but i do understand that those jobs are super stressful so i would highly recommend you that if you're traveling with your love bracelet have this crew close to you in case you need to take it off or just take it off before going through security i could have prevented that from happening but it had never happened to me before so definitely one of the cons is that you have to go through a lot to take the bracelet off and it can trigger a little bit of anxiety if you don't like to be like restrained or something usually it's not a problem for me this was just a one-time thing and i hope that it doesn't happen again of course one of the cons is also that it gets scratched so much and you can also scratch a couple of things so i have taken a little bit of wood off table when I have done like this without realizing and then I see that I have a little bit of like wood on the bracelet also it leaves a little bit of like marks in my arm when it goes all the way here then I take it off I have a little circles marked on my arm which I mean I don't even think that this is a con it's quite normal but yeah it happens if we're gonna talk into sizing I would definitely recommend you to get one that you when you put it right here which is like the ideal place to have it that you can put even 
even two fingers inside without it being too tight and that it can go a little like up like this is the furthest that mine can go if it's a little bit bigger it's gonna get a little bit uncomfortable personally I like my bracelets to not be that loose this is and I got size 16 because of that but never never get one that it's a little bit too tight for you and take in mind that you can bloat or you know things can happen so always have a little bit of extra space there now if we're gonna talk about if it's worth it in terms of price the answer is definitely no the love bracelet is 18 carats which is not even 24 carats and the price is insane it's super high it's not the price of the gold that you're paying it's the brand's name and that's something that you need to know also I love the design what that's one of the reasons why I wanted it and I always wanted a Cartier love bracelet it was one of those things that was my gold something that I wanted to buy for myself this bracelet is usually something that it's supposed to be gifted to you by a loved one as a sign of love but I have said before in my videos I think that if you want to give yourself something so you can tell yourself that you love yourself of course you can do way cheaper things to do that it just I that's what I did I bought it for myself because I have myself I love myself and I don't know how to explain it but it does have a meaning to me and it's very nice for me to see it every single day on my hand you can definitely later on resell it exactly for the same reason that you're paying for the brand's name it gives you safety but at the same time if you're interested only like fine jewelry and you don't care about the brand do not buy it just go and buy something that it's solid gold from a smaller brand same as if I had gone and bought my tennis bracelet from a brand like Cartier I would have paid so much money rather than what I actually paid for it which is from a small business that definitely handles fine jewelry and I love it it's spiritual gloss in case you want to check them out but you know you know what to do with your money I did what I wanted with mine and I bought this one which is quite expensive but in my opinion worth it for me but I do want to address something that has been bothering me a lot and I think that this video might happen to it too so I just want to put a disclaimer out there so I just really want to talk about it and the thing is that my love bracelet unboxing and also the review that I did when I had a couple of months with it was used by a company on Instagram and Facebook to promote a fake version of the love bracelet my issue here is that they downloaded my video and they used it as if it was an ad editing portions of what I said making it look like an ad for them I tried to report this to Instagram so many times because this ad somehow was being targeted to my audience so anyone that followed me would probably get this ad which was oddly specific I don't know I got sent this ad so many times and many people fell for them I just want to let you guys know that I got my bracelet from the store I don't work with any company and if that Instagram story doesn't come from my account it's not me I've tried to take these people down before and it was just Instagram doesn't help you at all which is very annoying because when you're a content creator you need to follow so many rules like if I put two seconds of a song on my videos I get copyrighted and they can check that here on YouTube I've had to delete so many videos because I found music from this company that was supposedly free to use for YouTube videos and it was not copyrighted and then they copyright you anyway so yes you need to follow some rules and then on Instagram the same you need to be super careful when you share COVID information but I report an ad and I try to contact Instagram but someone is taking my face my voice my content and scamming people and that's not against community guidelines so it's been a little bit stressful so I just want to clarify on this video that I got my love bracelet full price from the store if you see an ad where they advertise a love an authentic love bracelet for 70% off it's a scam only buy from trusted retailers or directly from the boutique you guys know that you can trust fashion file and other type of platforms but not an ad from Instagram so if you happen to see the ad please help me report it it's definitely being taken care of in a very proper way when it is resolved I'll give you guys an update just I want to talk about it on this video in case you see it again just know that it's not me and to please report it and yeah so I think this is it if you have any more questions please let me know in the comment section down below I would be more than happy to answer them if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching my channel I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you want to check them out and yeah thank you and see you on the next one bye